succeeded. So what happens typically, when it's the first love, the guy just whips it around because he thinks one minute, 30 seconds, it goes by so fast. So, you know, it's like going to the airport. The first time you catch a flight, you get there like four hours early. You don't want to miss it, right? And then later on, you almost start missing your flights because you say, oh, their flight's going to be late. There's going to be people ahead of me. And the guy goes slower and slower. Nice and easy about in life. You want to pace yourself. Everyone, hands over their hearts again. Close your eyes and really enjoy this. Just, just give yourself a total moment of relaxation. is the hardest way to meditate and find yourself. It's the hardest. It's not the easiest. It's easy to become a Buddhist monk and sit there and sit there. Om no Buddha Namo. You can say, I've done it. Hundreds and thousands of iron hours sitting. But when you sit with a partner, the partner constantly reminds you as a mirror, hey, you're messing up. You go, no, I'm not, because you're messing up. No, you're messing up. And the whole thing is you don't want to mess up at all. You will become, want to become a clean mirror with each other. So work on being one. Okay, you guys ready to walk around? Thanks for walking. Make sure they walk slowly. Everyone stand up. Matade, sing slowly. <laughs> Oh, 
I mean to number I get. He, this guy, they say he doesn't understand Punjabi, but every time I pull out a nice line, he giggles. He knows everything. <laughs> <laughs> you know those guys who pretend they don't know the language and they're just always laughing in the back? And these that guy. But a smart guy, one I can tell. <laughs> Everyone, close your, fold your hands, close your eyes, and just relax and listen to the third round translation. Just be <laughs> His color is green. Everything is green. It's the source of life. Har also means everything. Everything. Harik. Immersed in everyone. Har. That's the word har. And the word meet. A friend. A dear friend from the heart. Someone saturated in here. The friend of everyone. That's the word harmit. Powerful word. And then this lovely word, Alasandra. The protector of man. It's a Greek god or goddess's word. The protector of her harmit. <laughs> He's waited this long to get protected, finally. <laughs> so, in this moment, I want them to know their value. Kimat. What is valuable? Valuable was when Mira and Arjun came to me and gave me a smile. That's value. I don't know them, but I got a free smile. You understand? Value is when you go and you see a rainbow, and it only lasts for five seconds, but it stays here till you die. Value is when you've been in a drought situation, or the first time you saw snow. I was talking to Nidia yesterday, and I think Alex asked him, when you guys moved from the Philippines, you came to Canada, from that, muggy tropical weather and you come to Canada and you see your first snow. Ooh, I remember my first snow. I was born in Kenya, in East Africa. I never wore pants growing I only wore shorts. I never had a pair of shoes. I only had flip-flops. I had to wear a pair of pants to school. Whoa! And I remember the first day of snow going down there sticking my tongue out and letting the snowflakes land on my tongue. 
that sensation, the value of the first snowfall. Finding value in your partner and then just don't forget it. We get, we get lazy. We don't realize, ah, hello, burio, hey, Value is every day. You check in every day and say, okay, where are we on our meter? Do we have good value or are we devaluing ourselves? Sure, properties go up and down. Okay, that's a different kind of value. The property is in Richmond. I grew up most of my life in Richmond, British Columbia, and the, my parents bought their house for $28,000. $28,000, okay? And that land now is probably $2 million. Same piece of land, same house, same building. The people that lived in it have gotten older and are ready to move on, but we've just given it a bigger number. Numbers are, look at our day today. You know, today, every day, you won't believe it, every day a quarter million people are born every day. 250,000 people are born every day. You guys are gonna have big competition when you go and get older. Because the more the people, the more the competition. So you need to find value and find good friends, good relatives, and good happiness. You guys ready to walk around for the third lap? Let's go.
Just open your eyes. You're going to listen to each other. You're going to find oneness and value. So what's that last E in the word love? Freeing. Give all the flowers out. There's lots of people back here. Everyone, please. Everyone, just hand them up. These are blessings that we're going to shower people with. But you can still listen to me. The letter E. L-O-V-E. Love. In life, there's only one thing that keeps you living. And in Punjabi, we call it Pran or Pavan. In English, we call it energy. Do you hear people say, very, very energy, very, the bus Right? I'm done. Energy is gone. You know, when you buy one of these batteries, you guys all have batteries in all your little toys nowadays, all your little gizmos we have. If it's not a rechargeable battery, once you start using it, it starts depleting. Once it, and the batteries, these batteries are funny because they don't have like an indicator telling you how much is left. You don't know whether it's going to use up to... Batteries use up different charge depending if they're up in the North Pole, in the cold weather or in the hot weather. They use up different charges depending on which device you're using. Just like that, we are born with some energy only. Finite amount of energy like a battery. Mac, it doesn't get recharged. It has what we call shelf life. The day you're born, it's full. And as you start moving off in life, it starts decreasing. And there's no indicator. There's no marker. The marker is you. If you have energy all the time, then you're using your energy wisely. But if you are not utilizing the energy in a uniform manner, you're going to feel depleted and you won't be aware of what we call consciousness. Be conscious. Because this battery can run out anytime. And that's why I tell everyone, choose your words wisely. Choose your time wisely. Choose your friends wisely. Choose your body frame wisely. Choose what you put inside your body wisely. Choose how you exercise wisely. Because if you misuse the battery, it's going to give you problems. It's going to give you glitches. You know, you know what I'm talking about, glitches. You all said, when you need it, it doesn't work. Right when you want to call someone, damn it, I only have 2% left. And nowadays, guess what we're doing? We can take one phone and put it on top of the other and share the energy. But we can do a little bit that. As humans, you can hug each other. You can sit together and share the energy instead of fighting the energy. And if you can learn to listen, to be one, to have value, and to have energy together, you've won the game of finding what we call God. God's not sitting in a mountain. God's not sitting in a church. Not sitting in a temple, there's never a big beard like me, it doesn't look like Santa, it looks like all of us. All of us put together, that's what God looks like. All of us, all the animals, all the insects, all the dirt, all the trees, all the mess, all the violence, and all the beauty put together is the creation of God. That's what God is all about. But people start saying, well, wow, it's just one nice thing, beauty in everything beauty and having this great experience together. So everyone's got some flowers? Everyone got flowers? What can you do? Yes. <laughs> Not 
these flowers have a small life, just like the energy of a battery. As they're going to walk around the fourth time around, I want you to give them the best energy you can give them. The best gift you could give Alessandra and Hermie. The best. Imagine if you were God. And you could be Santa Claus and everything a thousand times. And you wanted to give them the best thing for their life. As they walk around, I want you to walk up to them. I don't want you to throw the flowers at them. I want them to pour it on them like a nice gift of love, of energy. And if you want to give them a hug, you can. If you want to make them cry, you can. If you want to pinch this guy, you can because he's looking serious. He's, he's sat for a long time. And so let's everyone walk around for the fourth time. Everyone come around the back and we'll take pictures and everyone can come here, please. And the flowers. Thank you. 